What's going on, y'all? This is Czar. Uh, I want to show you three features in Studio One that's not turned on by default. Uh, the first one is ask to copy external files when saving song. So I always have this check now. What this means is when you save a song, if you have any external files, it's going to ask if you want to save it to the media folder. Uh, which you should, because it would keep it all in one place. Uh, so what an external file is, is any file that doesn't originate in Studio One. Uh, so if I'm recording, anything I record into Studio One is an internal file. Anything I bring from outside of Studio One is an external file. Uh, so for example, if I go to my files on my hard drive here, I'm just going to take this bomb, for example, and pull it into the session. Since that came from a hard drive, uh, that is considered an external file. Now, when I go to save the song, it's going to ask, do I want to copy these external files to the media folder? So what that does is when it copies those files to the media folder, it now looks in the media folder for those files next time you open up this session. Uh, so it's a good way to keep everything organized. Uh, if you don't want to check that by default, you can also go under Song, Copy External Files, and another way is in the pool, if you right click on a file, well, you have the option to copy external files. I like to just have that checked so anytime I save the song, any external files that I've brought in since the last save, it can go ahead and copy that to the media folder and I don't have to worry about uh, doing it later. Uh, the next, next feature is locate when clicked in an empty space. So what that does, Anywhere I click in an empty space with that checked, I can play from there. So this is just a drum loop that I that I pulled in. So that can be really handy for jumping around a session. Now if you click in a space where an event is, you see it won't play. So it only plays when you click in an empty spot. Last one is draw events translucent. So what this does, if you look here to the left, uh, you can see the the grid lines go or disappear behind the events. With this checked, now you see that the events go translucent and you can see the grid lines behind the event. So this can be handy for editing. Um, I actually prefer that off. Well, there you go. That's uh, three features not turned on in Studio One by default. All right, catch y'all next time.